Hello students, hope all of you are doing well. So, in our previous class, we have started chapter number 2, the Egyptian civilization. So, today we will start from the main characteristic of the Egyptian civilization. So, first one is town planning. So, Egyptian cities were planned, but Memphis and Thebes were organized organically okay and seeing the flooding condition of the Nile cities were built okay the cities were divided into upper and lower regions there were roads running from north and south narrow streets which used to divide the city into blocks and grids okay and this kind of pattern we also got in, in this valley civilization now buildings are of two types dwelling houses and public building this we also found in in the Zwali civilization. So how was the dwelling house houses? They were made sun they were made by sun baked bricks. Okay. The houses had flat roofs. People lived in one or two room and without uh, the uh, room house and without bathrooms. Okay. The rich lived in three storied houses, usually made of stone. Some houses uh, had courtyards, kitchen area okay narrow staircase but the royal palaces were enclosed by high walls and were surrounded by moats for security okay public buildings the temple districts were better planned and surrounded by high walls the layout was basically symmetrical the temples were massive structures and huge gateways were also there now architecture and engineering so, the Egyptian architect and engineers brilliantly carved single block of stone into monuments such as a pyramid and temples. Okay? One of the seven wonders in the, uh, is the Great Pyramid of Giz at Giza. Okay? Another architectural um, wonder is the Sphinx. It was a mythological structure with a head of a human and a body of a lion okay now society it was divided into three distinct classes upper middle lower class okay the upper class consisted of families like royal families or rich families okay and middle class consisted of merchants craftsmen clergymen and lower class consisted of peasants okay the family life was close knitted and the father was the head of the family women were treated with respect plus they were given proper equality children enjoyed carefree and happy lives the boys were sent to school and girls stayed at home and learned housework so the recreational activities okay this kind of uh, things we also got in the Mesopotamian civilization so their recreational activities included hunting, fishing, swimming, sailing on the Nile. Okay, bread and beer were their staple diets. And they also used to eat vegetables, fruit, meat and dairy products. And their dresses, dress codes, okay, was very simple. And the men used to wear loincloth and women wore long tight-fitting dresses okay they used to wear jewelry cosmetic wigs also so today i am keeping up to this next day i will start the occupation from occupation of the egyptian civilization so hope all of you have understood the chap means the covered portion so if you have any doubt feel free to ask in the live session thank you students have a nice day ahead thank you